Ciao, oggi abbiamo intervistato Marc Tennant, il fondatore e direttore del centro didattico inspire to coach un centro di formazione per insegnanti inglese e che da anni si occupa dell'insegnamento agli insegnanti e gli abbiamo chiesto quali sono tre modi per coinvolgere i genitori nell'attività sportiva dei figli molto spesso i genitori sono a margine dei campi nel vero senso della parola non sanno neanche cosa fanno i figli in campo ecco che allora gli abbiamo chiesto come fare per coinvolgerli e creare una migliore relazione tra allievo, genitore ed insegnante. Ascoltiamolo. Ciao everybody and welcome to Giocare a Tennis. My name is Mark Tennant, I'm one of the directors of Inspire to Coach and I'm talking to you here from Great Britain. Uh, I've been asked to give you some little ideas and some uh, tips that you can use as a coach to engage with the parents of your young tennis players. I was asked to give you three tips, but at Inspire to Coach we like to do a little bit more, so I'm actually going to give you four today. So tip number one. First of all, remember that those parents are customers. That's really, really important. I don't believe there's one single business anywhere in the world that can survive without customers. And somehow in tennis, I think, as tennis coaches, we forget sometimes that those parents are our customers. Without them, we don't have a job. They are effectively the ones who can hire us or fire us. And it's really important that we realize that and that we remember that and that we make sure that we treat them as customers, that we act in a professional way. So before we talk in more detail about how to engage those parents in uh, simple ways within your program, tip number one is just to remember they are customers and we need them. So tip number two, all parents love to know how their kids are getting on. But I think that most of the parents of the kids in your program probably don't know too much about tennis. And they probably don't know very much about how those children are getting on from one week to the next within your lessons. So provide some reports. They could be written reports or it could be just a very short video of how those kids are getting on. And give that to the parents. Maybe just once a year. I don't want to create too much extra work for you because I know you're busy. But maybe just once a year or twice a year, parents and grandparents love to have some little reports, like the school reports and like the reports maybe they receive from other sports clubs, just to say that those kids are doing really well. And it shows that you're organized, it shows that you're professional, and it shows that you really care about the kids. Tip number three, build connections and build relationships with those parents. I've already said to you that they are your customers and any successful business needs to build a relationship with the parents. They need to build a relationship with the customers. Try to understand a little bit more what the parents are looking for and hopefully they'll also understand what you want as the tennis coach. So try to make yourself available to speak to parents. Don't ban the parents from the side of the tennis court. Allow the parents into the club, welcome them, make them feel welcome, make them feel like they're important. Remember, they are customers to you and we can't do without those customers because they pay my salary, they pay your salary too. So welcome them into the club, don't put barriers in front of them and make yourself available to meet with those parents, maybe one-to-one -one occasionally if they want to discuss anything with you about the program or the competition that you're offering for their kids or maybe just once a term or twice a year, arrange a more formal parents' evening. Maybe get, get some of that good Italian wine and some cheese out and arrange an evening where all the parents can come in and you can make a little presentation to them and tell them about the philosophy and the ideas in your program and it's a chance maybe for them to ask questions. Whenever coaches tell me that their parents are being a bit of a pain in the ass, it's usually because the parents don't understand. And Why don't they understand? because we don't communicate with them. So we need to find ways of communicating as well as we can. So tip number three, arrange to meet parents. Meet them one-to-one, -one, arrange some more formal parents' evenings where you can actually present your information and you can hear questions from your parents, your customers too. So here's your bonus tip, tip number four. I said I was gonna give you some extra, didn't I? So when I travel around the world and I see a lot of coaching, a lot of coaching programs, With the 10 and under programs, those programs are typically characterized as red, orange and green, and that's great. And usually they're characterized by age groups, seven or eight for reds, uh, eight or nine and under for orange, 
10 and under for greens. And that's fine, but the problem is the age of the child doesn't define the ability of the child. So try to put in place some criteria so that the parents and the kids understand what do the kids have to do by the end of the red program in order to be ready to progress to orange. What can the kids do on the tennis court by the end of orange to be ready to progress to the green court? And it stops a lot of the questions and misunderstanding and maybe some frustrations that parents have because they don't know what's expected of the children and they don't know why you are resisting perhaps their request to move the children up when they turn eight years old. They are rightly asking, my child is eight now, why are you not moving him up to the next level? And you need to be able to say that it's more than just the age, it's also about the ability and the standard of the kids. So tip number four is a really important tip as far as I'm concerned. Put some criteria in place which define what you want from the kids at each level. And then you are clear about what you're looking for from the kids. The kids know what's expected of them and those parents also know how their kids are progressing and they know why their children uh, need to stay in one group a little longer because you've defined the skills that they need to move to the next level. Thank you for listening. I hope to meet some of you someday and uh, good luck with your tennis and uh, it's been a pleasure presenting some little ideas with you. Ciao.